Move it. Okay. Discussion. Those in favor and capable of saying aye? Aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Move on, Ed. Okay, go ahead, Ed. <laughs> you guys doing? Yes, I wanted to discuss a little bit the health insurance. I've got uh, just a really generic chart to share with you. It uh, talks about uh, claims and where we've gone with claims. What I did is the, the red is the calendar year and the green is the fiscal year. And I just tried to compare 12-month periods to each other because with a group your size, you can have some pretty significant variation if you try to compare quarters or six-month periods. But if you look at we're almost flat through the fiscal 2013, we took quite a spike in uh, calendar year 2013. Uh, our claims are up. Actually, only over the five years, we're only up 9.57%, so that's really good. That is good. But um, we, it's still a significant increase. Uh, we can, with the level we're funding at, we could see a 3% increase in claims and break even next year. So I think it's something we need to really keep an eye on. Uh, right now, we just, uh, we just got our claims in for January, for the first couple of weeks of February. It looks like we may be slowing down a little bit. We had a number of large claims, a lot of surgeries, back surgeries, heart issues, just an awful lot of, a lot of issues. And uh, so we wanted to, uh, I just want to make everybody aware of it. 3% we break even. If we go to 6 or 9%, we need to, we're going to start dipping into reserves. So I don't think it's a good time to consider um, any sort of premium holiday. We knew this was coming. We just didn't know what it was going to be. Right. So the good news is we've got 3% cushion. And I think last year was a little bit of an aberration. The other thing is that as we move to Wellmark from first administrators, there are some claims that we'll see that will be a little bit, uh, the pricing will be a little bit better on. You know, some of those that are outside the Sioux City area. And so I think that'll be a help. I think we may see some, some benefit there. Our fixed costs went backwards, $14,000 this year compared, 2014 compared to 2013. So I think that's a positive. Uh, so we do have some things on our side but I, I just want to make sure we keep everybody aware of it, and I'd like to be able to report back at the end of March, show you where we're at. Okay. And really probably should send an update at least in memo form to everybody at the end of February to let you know where we are, claims wise. How are we doing on our uh, coaching, our health <coughs> coaching? The response to that is? We only had four people that didn't, after we did at least three attempts to get a hold of them, and in two cases did talk to them, and they just weren't receptive to doing that. That's pretty good participation, isn't it? Very good yeah. participation. We had excellent participation again with the, with the biometric screenings. One of the things I was pleasantly surprised, I thought we were going to see quite a, a, a lot more diabetes than we did, just a little less than we anticipated. Good. So there are some positives there. We didn't find any, this is the first time we've done the screening, and we did not find somebody who was really critical. We've had people that we've had to send every year almost immediately. Yeah, this year we did not, so I think that's a positive thing. Uh, I think people are, it's making people more aware and people taking a little better care of themselves. Uh, I do have a couple of ideas uh, that I'd like to run past you, maybe uh, an out of open session for ways to help curb some cost. But uh, we've done, I mean, really, if you look at the last five years, to only see, to see a year that we think is aberrant, and for that year, it'd only be 9.57% above where we were five years ago. That's really very, very good. Things have gone really well. I think it's from our pre preventative uh, uh, care that we've uh, implemented here that's maybe caused this. I think, that's a, I think it's a big help. Because uh, every year, we've found some large claims that were waiting to happen. Uh, we've been able to get those people in, you know, in with their doctor in the emergency room or in urgent care. So I think that is a big help. You know, there are some other things I think we need to look at, too. Um, you know, there are certain providers that we see that are <coughs> always high cost, mm -hmm. and maybe we need to look at that and see how we can, can help steer people the right direction. Is that something that you could resurrect the health committee and maybe run it through there, and maybe we haven't had a meeting <coughs> for a while, so I think it would be perhaps, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. run it through that. Very good. I think we need to uh, reform the health and wellness committee and uh, really get everybody involved. And the more involvement we can get from everybody, uh, the more the better works. The studies are pretty consistent. Are these trends, I mean, 
traditional of governmental bodies like our size? Or I mean, have you made any comparisons to other counties our size uh, with? Most of them are seeing more increase. Than oh, they, they are. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, and if you look at national trends, I know one of the. Of course, we inundate, we're inundated with all of this. Stuff. <laughs> Imagine you are. If you look at the, uh, if you look at the trends projected for next year, uh, they're talking six to eight percent. Uh, they've been, you know, they've projected ten percent uh, typically for last year, nine to ten percent. So we were right about normal, just maybe slightly above normal. But if you look at over the five-year period, the, right. the typical trend has been about seven to eight percent a year, and we've been about two percent a year or less. So it really has worked well. And that's, I mean, really we were pretty flat. We just had one year that right. brought us up to that average of about two percent a year. But you said the claims are starting to go back down again. Yes. There, there is some thinking on the board that uh, if these things taper back off again, we could have another premium holiday. At this point, I wouldn't recommend it because, like I said, if you, if you look at the claims we had last year and the fixed cost, they were very, very close. Uh, so we, we put away about $100,000 was all for the course of the year, maybe a little bit more. Uh, if you look at, uh, we would have to see tr claims start to trend back down so that we could see that we were going to finish below that 5.1 million. Right. I'm thinking April, May, something like that, uh, if the trend continues. I would say we'd want to look definitely at claims through April before we make a recommendation. I, I mean, I would be stepping out, taking a chance if I tried to recommend before this. Yeah, and the numbers aren't in yet anyway, so. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, any other uh, questions on uh, this particular item on the agenda? Okay, I think that. Uh, thank you. Good, thank you. Thanks, Okay, item four is the approval of a memorandum of uh, personnel. Just a minute, I'm sorry. Uh, at, at the um, board administrates public bidders. Uh, we have an approval of a resolution to, uh, for a notice of property sale. Um, I think we have three, three portions here. And, uh, one is parcel zero one two seven three five um, zero one two five eight five and zero one two six one five. Move to set the um, public hearing seven three five. On the 25th of February at 10:15. Second. Is there a second? Okay. Uh, those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. And then we have one more. Is that all in the Yeah. Just on the Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Needed the one resolution. You just need the one resolution, or, or do we have? Uh, yeah, because it looks like they're all in one. One partial. One okay. There. Okay, I changed my motion to represent all three parcels. All right. Ten fifteen, ten seventeen, ten nineteen. How's that? <laughs> Second. That'll work. Those in favor, keep the saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same saying. Okay. Um. Receive appointment of uh, City of Lawton Council. Is there a name? Move to appoint Matt Otto. Second. Uh, discussion. Those uh, in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Item six is a, uh, an approval of a resolution thanking and commending years of service. Move it. Second. Those in favor indicate for saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Then we have a second one also. Move it. Second. Okay. Those in favor indicate for saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, same sign. Uh, <coughs> Commission Veterans Affairs Quarterly Report. Is there a motion? I move to receive. Second. Discussion. Those in favor indicate for saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Secondary roads, Mark Neri. Morning. Morning, Morning. Mark. We just 
just have a utility permit today for the board's consideration. Uh, electrical underground down near Sloan. Uh, they're running some new uh, three-phase wiring under our uh, old Highway 75 blacktop, taking it to the uh, elevator. Recommend approval. I move it. Second. Uh, those in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. There's three copies for your signature, George. Okay. Can you kind of give us a little update on, uh, you've been sending <laughs> out quite a few emails on <laughs> Wharton Slough uh, situation. Forgive me if I'm flooding your inbox. <laughs> no, but that's good. I think it keeps us educated on what's going on down there. Well, there, there has been a, a lot of activity down there and uh, uh, a lot of information being shared among residents. and. I've had quite a few calls in my office, and I know from your calls that you guys have yep. had some too. And um, we're, we're at a phase where um, I think it would be good maybe if we had a second informal hearing. And we managed to pick a night last time where we ended up with a snowstorm. And uh, even though our consultant from Storm Lake made it, uh, there, were, there were other folks who just probably wisely chose not to come out and, and buck the weather that night. Um, you know, with the board's direction, we could do that. Um, right now we're in a pro, we're, I, I kind of put the brakes on the consultant a little bit until we get a couple of these questions answered. There's two folks from DNR who have uh, had contact with the public and they they both told a little bit different stories too. Um, one from the DNR who's, uh, a local biologist wants to see some things with the project and the one from the regional office is saying that there's no environmental issues that they can press. So um, we're working toward getting a meeting with DNR and our consultant. We're going to meet up there in Storm Lake to save some travel time uh, and, and uh, maybe save us some consultant fees. We're shooting for the last week of February with that. but. Uh, I think some people have some concerns down there. Um, you know, right now there is no design for people to look at. Mm -hmm. We have lines on an aerial photo. <coughs> and, uh, you know, we're at a point where the engineer hasn't even had a chance to make his formal recommendation to you on which option to select. Uh, this meeting with DNR will help focus us on whether the open ditch, which is the least costly to your drainage district taxpayers is, is potential. And, uh, you know, whether the underground conduit is the only way to go at that point. Um, you know, it'd be my recommendation that we follow up with DNR, that we try and get some of those things fleshed out so that uh, we know we're sure that whichever way is forwarded and that we start to do design work on, um, we can, uh, we can be assured that we're not going to run into any permitting issues. Um, there was one rumor that was going around that INS had gone down and resurveyed everything we did. They didn't go down here to do any survey. But that is one of the issues that one of the residents had brought up. Um, you really got to kind of have some people juxtaposed with this project. Uh, the Browns Lake people are concerned about water quality. Right. And uh, the, the uh, drainage district folks are concerned about getting water off the ground uh, so that they can farm those areas. And, you know, they both have legitimate concerns. I think I spoke with three Browns Lake residents after the board had decided to pursue the WERB grant. Um, they were very pleased with that and, and thought that would be a, a big help. Um, the WERB grant can be applied to the Orton Slough whether or not, and I checked this this morning, it can be applied to improvements there whether or not we do drainage improvements. So I mean, it, it, it would help either way, having a grass ditch coming into it and then having a wetland detention area. Both of those things would, would be helpful. So separate from the project, um, that would be one of the issues we need. One of the things that the uh, consultant needs is some letters of support. Um, the board will be asked for one. Uh, I'll work with Karen to draft that for you. Um, my department has asked for one. We're asked also for some survey work, which we're very willing to help save some money on the project. Conservation is asked for one, then we'll be working with NRCS and uh, perhaps the DNR staff after we meet with them as well. 
Um, if you do another informal meeting, uh, would you be willing to invite the DNR <coughs> to that? Or is that a Sure, we, we invited them last time. Would you do it again? <laughs> sure. Uh, well, Especially well, if there's conflicting um, information, mm -hmm. and and I think it's great you're going to have your meeting um, with the consultant and the DNR, but sometimes gotcha. hearing it That's at that mm -hmm. meeting when we're all in the same room, it might be helpful rather than, you know. Now, do we want to pay the consultant to come down for that meeting, or do we just want to give his exhibits and then allow our local staff and the board to hear the comments? I don't know. What, what would you think is best, Mark, on that? They eat up three and a half hours of travel time for, for two engineers. Might be worth it, though. Well, again, uh, he can explain the technical aspects and the legal aspects better than I can. Um, uh, Brian and Ivan have many more years of experience working with drainage districts mm -hmm. all over the state than what I do. and. Uh, if that's the board's wishes, we'll schedule that way. Um, Spending drainage district people's right. funds. Oh, well. So I think we got to be a little careful there. Right now, um, we come pretty close to exhausting what they have in their balance. So. Well, the other side of that is there's some misinformation floating around well, out there. And that's one of the worries as well. Uh, supposedly, there's somebody at the DNR that said it's not a good idea. But nobody can figure out who that was, so. And he sent me the email he had sent to one of the residents, and I forwarded that to all of you. Mm -hmm. So you saw what he had in his conditions that he'd like to see. And again, the local biologist serves as an advisor to the state office. So what he recommends may or may not be incorporated in the final permit. Uh, it's the same with uh, Julia Regional Office. Both of them review projects like this locally. Um, he's not sure about, I, I know the DNR staff member is sure that there will be a sovereign lands permit necessary. Um, according to INS, they haven't had one before in similar projects, so we need to find out exactly what is going to be required. But remember, the next step for this project is, after the informal hearing, the presentation of options, the uh, engineer makes his formal report to the trustees. And based on that formal report, that's when the hearing and everything is scheduled where, where the information is further shared. And so um, we, th there's some steps in place, but we're, I would prefer before, and this is what I've asked them to slow down a bit for so we can get some of these issues with the DNR pinned down so we know what will be accepted, what isn't acceptable as far as what's going on. Well, it would be good to have the public hearing again and have the DNR there if we can get them there mm -hmm. for sure. And also the consultants too, I, you know, uh, um, because they do have the answers to some of the concerns that the people have down there. Okay, I'll uh, you run work the with them and then see when yeah. we can get the, uh, the facility at Sloan again. Yeah. And we'll hope for better weather this time. Yeah. You run the risk of uh, going and uh, if you don't have the right people there, you run the risk of going with opinion and misinformation Absolutely. Um, against you, mm -hmm. uh, and that'll just get you another meeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And, uh, I mean, this is kind of outside our normal uh, scope of work, so, um, you know, we, my department tries to assist the board in, in administering these projects. We're, we're not going to... We're not the driving force, and, and I think that's one of the pieces of misinformation. Board of Supervisors and the Secondary Road Department didn't start this project. <laughs> no, right. Um, we had people within a drainage district that came to their trustees, or the chair of their trustees, and, and asked for help. And that, that's what really got all of this Follow started. up, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to yeah. cut you off, Mark. Okay. Because you're we right. Yeah, we have another item to go to. All right. All right. And uh, I will Thank work you for that. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, let's get a meeting. We don't okay. want it before March, in the middle of March. No. So we've got, uh, Is there a time period you don't want this meeting that would be inconvenient? We probably don't want it before the middle of March so we get everybody there. Hopefully okay. to miss any but kind of what bad. Probably the end of March. Well, that will give us a lot of time to know. Right, if we can get, get these people. Grant in and, right. And we've got quite a bit that we can, right. uh, can get assembled and, and really have things nailed down. <laughs> good. All right, very good. All right, thanks, Thank Mark. You. Yeah, item number nine is the uh, budget discussion. Dennis, you want to take over on that one for us, please? 
<clears throat> okay, just there's a couple bookkeeping items or housekeeping here. One is that we've determined through Ed Gilling, our consultant, that we cannot pay physicals out of the health insurance pre-employment because they are not actually employees, so it has to come back to Human Resource Department. So we need to have an amendment to the Human Resource Department budget for next year of $6,500, adding that to the line item 001 4252 which is medical fees. We did take it out because we thought we paid out of health, found out we can, so we have to put it back in. So we need a motion to, uh, to put that back in there. Correct. Move. Second. Discussion. Those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Okay. The second item is I need the board to authorize the chair to sign the Starcom budget that's been approved. Doug um, Young, the chief of police, has signed it, and then the chair has to sign it also. Move it. Second. Okay. Discussion. Uh, is that budget pretty much the? St it's the same as last okay. year. Yes, the capital improvement is being paid out of E911, that's the 350000 broke down next year, and the 66000 is what we originally had in the budget to begin with. Okay. Uh, those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Okay, the next item is we have revised the memo I sent last week with additions to what you did do last week, so I'll kind of go through this here. Now, we held lengthy discussions last week on budget changes possible proposals and what we actually did through the budget hearings last week we did two items the board approved the transfer of funds from the riverboat fund to the general basic fund in the amount of seventy four thousand nine seventy one for non-mandated programs listed below and that's to give you an idea of what programs we do fund with this riverboat funds you can see meals on the wheels council on sexual assault senior age which is wccaa sulana regional transit system senior center for active seniors and then Mobile Senior Center. Those add up to the 74971. The second item the board did approve was a transfer of funds from the low cost of sales tax to the Rural Basic Fund to partially fund to fund partially the planning zoning office. This transfer amounted to 93514 So those those adjustments made, when you go to the second page, you can see where I've adjusted the new taxes we didn't adjust. We adjusted the additional taxes were on the rural township people there will be no new additional taxes for the rural basic fund so our total <coughs> increase will be two million one thirty four four ninety one of which two hundred ninety thousand eight seventy nine is from new funds created by additional valuation of rollbacks additional taxes to fund new programs or where we have used reserves in the past and when you come down to the tax rate you can see how the tax rate now is equal between the increase is equal between the rural people and the town people as it currently stands, it's 50.655 cents per thousand. So with that said, and then I did list again the reasons why this budget has gone up, why we are increasing taxes. I don't know if you want me to go through this again. Yeah, I think we should okay. go through them again. Mm -hmm. In the past, there's um, two major reasons here. The first one is in the past two fiscal years, the county has used cash reserves that the most part came from insurance holidays. <coughs> Because claims are much higher in the current fiscal year, there are no planned insurance holidays coming up. Those four insurance holidays amount to approximately one million dollars for the four over the two years. As you heard Dave from our consultant, it's not looking good for a holiday this year. We won't increase the rates, but we won't have to do a holiday to hold back. The second one, expenditure increases have occurred in the following areas. The county employees benefits levying the general supplemental fund and then moved to the general basic fund increased one million one hundred thousand nine eighty two. The county cannot use cash reserves to offset this allocation as this, is, as this has been done in the past fiscal year. And then there are new expenditures that currently are budgeted for. Here are the second items: courthouse security two hundred fifty thousand. General election expenses increased over the primary election that's held in June. That amounts to 136,000 because you have a lot more activity in a general election than you do in a primary election. And finally, there's an increase in self liability allocation amount of 500,000 due to increasing claims and administrative costs with uh, attorney fees. Uh, hopefully, you know, we'll do it this year coming up. Hopefully, we can rebuild some reserve. Right now, we have 458,000, and we'll be lucky to make it to the end of the year without running out of money and have to find funds to supplement. 
hopefully we'll make it. But we used to have a balance of about two million in that fund and now we're down to pretty much nothing. So that's the reason we have to do that. Now, solutions are very limited. Like I said last week, to, post, to reduce the post tax assets. New revenues and reductions in expenditure are the obvious choices. County departs are now bare bone budgets. Any further reductions could reduce services to the public. Now, we are looking at, I think the sheriff and the county attorney are looking at this potential suspended license, but that won't happen until during next fiscal year. So there is potential new revenue there. <coughs> Uh, they're going to revise look at 24 7 that could be a potential and then a lot of our fees are set by state code so it's hard to increase the fees because they are set by state code so we're limited there we can't go out and impose fees you know anywhere we're a little different than other entities <clears throat> after this is all said and done we're now down using cash reserves to help bring down the tax assets and tax rates following are my recommendation what cash reserves to use District Health is returning to the county $217,004 of cash balances to keep in line with the county's reserve policies. In this case, they're maintaining cash reserves of 20% and keep an additional 5% due to their CIT projects to the District Health building. The return funds can be used to help reduce the tax asking in the general fund. Even though it's going to general basic, the general fund composes really a general fund basic and a general supplemental. So it actually reduce the tax rate in the general supplemental. In keeping with the county's fiscal policies, there's a recommendation to use $406,681 of general basic reserves to help offset partially the tax askings in the general fund again. So the total of using cash reserves from the, from the general fund would be $623,685, less the $123,685 shortfall of the general basic fund for a total reduction of $500,000 or reduce a countywide tax rate by 13.96 cents per thousand to a total increase of 36.695 cents per thousand. Now that's an increase being proposed if you do these two transfer, or use these two reserves. When you look back eight years, we did reduce it by 38 cents. Now we're going to raise it 36 cents so over nine years. You've actually increased your tax rate on that plan. Now, yeah, taxes, we're getting more taxes because you have increase in valuations through new construction, revaluation, you also have rollbacks that change. Unfortunately, <coughs> sometimes rollbacks shift who pay, what class of property paid. We can't help that. But base has most of our tax asking increase. So, if the recommendations are adopted, a $50,000 taxable house would pay $18.35 additional a year for county services. Again, I want to state that's county service. That includes the city, that includes the school. Any other tax amount, just county services. A rural property owner with a taxable value of 50, that would pay the same $18.35 additional. So everything remains the same? Yes, because we are increasing the tax rate on rural basic call, we're increasing it coming on countywide levies. All right, um, discussion of the board, what's your pleasure? We probably need to adopt this recommendation. Yes, um, saying we're gonna use reserves. Right. In this dollar amount. Well, I do realize it's once again a Band-Aid going uh, basically to our savings account, but I do think it is the right thing to do. Um, we're still going to have, what, 20% reserves, so, um, and that is our policy as well. Maybe it's 22, I don't remember exactly. So I'm in favor of this. And just to clarify what I think is confusing, a $50,000 taxable house really is if you can sell your house for $100,000 on the market, if you would sell it for $100,000, you would pay less than $20 more right. a year in taxes. So, because of the rollback. Um, I think my coffee has gone up more than that in a year. So <laughs> uh, really we do provide a lot of service um, and that's not a very big increase in my, in my opinion. I, I don't know what else to do. Is that a motion to adopt? That's a motion. <laughs> <laughs> to, to give you an idea, this current year we did use close to over 900,000 cash reserves because of the holidays. Uh, last, uh, two years ago we used 458,000. Three years ago we used about 600,000. So what we're doing is gradually cutting our dependency down on using cash reserves because we can't do it forever. Eventually it does catch up and it's caught up with us this year. Is there a second to the motion? Second. Well, it, it doesn't necessarily have to catch up. 
when you have a plant like CF coming on board. That's four years or, down the road. Right, but or that or any on. other uh, right. construction, you've got the uh, right. fly ash plant coming on this year. Right. And that's on tax increment district, so there that gives us abilities to hopefully pay back, say, the county loan we're making or any other advances we make to whoever for increment projects. Right. That's down. Now that's the future. Now start coming on board next year. Right. I had three years ahead of CF because the fly ash will actually generate close to forty, fifty thousand. Yep. Then we start seeing returns in our own investments okay. down there. Any further discussion? Yeah, I have one. I mm -hmm. still think this board needs to start looking at these non-mandated programs and uh, cutting them because we can't keep supplying <laughs> tax dollars for non-mandated programs. So. You know, I, I, I thought about, I knew that would probably come up again. I was thinking about um, the senior citizen that relies on Meals on Wheels. You know, that probably keeps them in their house and they pay property tax by receiving this service. So it's hard to measure that, but I think it comes back to pay us. It, it, it pays us back as a community to offer this. So. I think it is the right thing to do. I think it's good for our community. Um, keeps people in their homes. Okay. Keeps them I, I wouldn't taxes. disagree with that, but eventually, you know, we have to learn to cut something, and we 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 don't. We choose not to. So then, what do we have to do? Is raise taxes, and I'm not for raising taxes. Well, this is you're using river boat funds to fund this, <laughs> not using tax dollars still you're still borrowing stuff to pay and it still offsets and all you end up receiving is more taxes so it is what it is uh, any further discussion those in favor of the motion indicate by saying aye 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 those opposed same as aye. aye now we need a motion to set the uh, public hearing on this for um, where was the date on it? For March, March 11th, March 11th 15th. for the yeah. budget? Yeah, to adopt the budget. At that point in time, you cannot <coughs> increase anything, but you can decrease items. <coughs> so you still have the option still to <coughs> cut. Mm -hmm. You can't increase, you cannot. Is there a motion to set the public hearing at uh, March 11th at what, 10-15? Yep. Move it. Second. Uh, discussion. Those in favor, indicate by saying aye. Uh, all right. Thanks, Dennis, for your Thank summary you. of this uh, thing. I think I will have updated. We all understand it. Hand out. I'll give you a little more detail okay. now that we're, where we're at. Thank you. We're a little behind schedule. Um, we have the public opening of bids and for alternatives for the building at, at um, for social services. Is there a public hearing on that. Anyone to be heard? Being no. none. Hearing none. I move the hearing be closed. Is there a second? Second. Those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Um, good morning. Good morning. Are you here to open bids for? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Do we have many? Yeah, we've got five. It looks like. Good start. Uh, talking to Karen yesterday. We have some uh, <coughs> bid tabulations here. If you guys want to follow along. Yeah, please. Here you are. <laughs> Sticking together. Do you want a bid tab? Thank you. Um, the project has a um, architect's uh, estimated construction cost at 295 dollars 63304 295 what? Uh, 63304 And that was done back in August 21st. Okay. Some changes were made to the project, both that added cost and deleted cost. We have not updated the, uh, <coughs> the uh, estimate since then. <coughs> Okay, the first one, uh, I'm just going to read them in the order that they're stacked here. The first one is from Global Engineering and Construction of Sioux City, Iowa. 
And this is the bid security. The bid security for uh, global construction is uh, in the form of a bid bond. Okay. Now, on your uh, bid tabulation, <clears throat> there are some. Uh, I don't have a copy of there. There are some uh, alternates there. The base bid is what I'll read first, and then the alternates. One is to repaint the entire existing building. We are replacing windows. We're cutting some new windows in the back there, so we're going to have to try to patch paint in there, and it's it's going to look like we patch paint Painted there. <laughs> so because the building hasn't been painted for a while, so we took an alternate. That means you don't have to take it, but. Uh, Okay. This is from Global Engineering. Um, <clears throat> base bid, two hundred twenty-eight thousand dollars. Two two eight zero zero zero. Repaint the building exterior, three thousand one hundred and two dollars. To add carpet, is thirty-one dollars and sixty-five cents per yard. To delete carpet is $31 per yard. To add vinyl base is $1.75 per foot. And to delete vinyl base is $1.60 per lineal foot. They acknowledge the receipt of addendum one on page 414. Mike, I haven't talked to you. Are you recommending carpet out there or not? Yeah, we've got carpet in some areas and we've got tile in some areas. Yes, we're, we're carpeting most of it. They're putting a um, uh, landscape office open cubicles out there and uh, they slide around on tiles. So yeah, we're putting carpet out in that area. Okay. The next one is from Sioux Contractors from Sioux City, Iowa. This is the bid security. Good security is in the form of a check on the, from Pioneer Bank. Here's the bids from Sioux Contractors of Sioux City. Uh, base bid, $266,800, 266 800. To repaint alternate G1, to repaint the building exterior, $3,850, 3850 uh, Alternate G2, unit prices, carpet, to add carpet is $40 a yard. To delete it is $30 a yard. To add uh, vinyl base is $2.50 per lineal foot. And to deduct it is $1 per lineal foot. Okay. The next bid I will read is from HCI Construction from South Sioux City, Nebraska. On the other side of the river. Don't say which one of these is the bid bond. Oh, here, bid bond. Okay, I'll open the bid bond first. Bid bond for HCI. is in the form of a bid bond. Okay. Bid security is in the form of a bid bond. And now for the bids. This is for HCI Construction in South Sioux City. Um, the base bid is $268,000, 268,000. We paint the building exterior, $13,500.
Unit prices, carpet per square yard to add is $36, to delete is $31, and vinyl base to add is $2.50, to delete is $1.60. The next bid is for H&R Construction in South Sioux City, Nebraska. There's the bid security. <clears throat> Bid security in the form of a bid bond. There's the bid for H&R Construction, South Sioux City, Nebraska. $241,000, $241,000. To repaint the building exterior, $3,420, $3,420. Carpet to add is $30.25. To delete is $30.25. Vinyl base to add is $2. To delete is $2. Concludes the bid for h &R. The next one in the pile here is from Frank Audino uh, Construction in Sioux City, Iowa. And here's the bid security. Frank, you're the on, only one in the room that knows whether you got it or not. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Frank Ardino Constructions uh, bid security is in the form of a bid bond. Here is the bid. For Frank Ardino Construction, Sioux City, Iowa. Um, base bid $302,300. $302,300. Repaint the building exterior $13,076. $13,076. Uh, unit prices, carpet, add $34.35. Delete $32. To add vinyl base is $2.62 per foot. To delete is $2 per foot. There's one other envelope <coughs> here. It says from Jones Caulking and Tuck Pointing Inc. I think they might have sent their thing to the wrong place. Do you think so? We'll open it and read it. Yeah. Um, here's our bid for joint sealants on this project. This is a, a sub bid that should have gone to the uh, general contractors. Oh, okay. So this is not a bid for the entire project. Okay. It's received by Karen James in the form of an email. So. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, I move yes. these bids be referred to the architect for recommendation. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Any discussion? Uh, the that building was completely painted two years ago. What? Not that it makes any difference. Okay. I, yeah, I don't know how it. How, um, how good it would uh, be to be able to match the paint, but yeah. we can certainly try because we are going to be cutting some <coughs> holes in there. In order to cut the holes in the concrete block, we're going to have to um, put some lintels above there. The lintels on the windows in the back were too large to be able to slide in from the interior, yeah. so we're going to have to remove the block above them. So that all get, has to get painted, and I'm just afraid with it being there for that long, you might be able to see those paint patches. But you know, we can give it a shot if yeah, we don't want to. Yeah, be able to repaint. match it. I think the, the building to, or the bid to repaint it at 3000 whatever it was, is a pretty good bid to yeah. repaint the entire building. Yeah. Yes. That's up to you. Up to okay. you guys. Okay. Those in favor of the motion indicate for saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. When will you have the recommendation back to us, my, uh, uh, my guy? Is that your next meeting? Next, the next meeting. Be fine. Be okay. Again. All right, thank you. Okay. Thank you. You got some good competitive bids. With me. Do you guys need a copy of them before I take them with me? Okay. 
Huh? Yeah, I think we should have a before copy I leave, of it. Before I leave? Okay. Is there someone in the office that I can... Okay. Yeah. Thanks, right. Mike. Just the bids, not the security, or you want copies of it all? All of it. Okay. I'll stop by and have right. a copy of it then before we leave. Okay, thanks, Thank Mike. You. You're welcome. Okay, um, item number 11 is hearing of any individual or uh, group wishing to make a presentation on an item not on the agenda. Hearing no one, will we adjourn? Maybe they, uh, 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 Rick? Good morning. Good morning. Hi, uh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, we're working with uh, Secondary Roads Department. Uh, Mark has graciously put his, some of his staff in charge of uh, drawing up and finishing the plans for the paving project out at the Nature Center. Uh, we're hoping to get this moving and go to bid here in a couple months. We've, we're kind of blocking out the month of August mm -hmm. for the construction. We'll shut down out there. It's a good time of year for us to do that. My question is, do you want those uh, contracts and everything uh, administering that project run through our department, our board, to sign off on that stuff? Or do you want that coming through this board? I would think it goes through conservation. It's your yeah. property. Or it made a difference. You just wanted to. Yeah, I, I would think conservation board would be fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Mark? It's a different topic than yours, right? <laughs> um, would the board like me to put together an article for your Facebook page on uh, the drainage district just to try and get some information out there the, ahead of I, the meetings? I think that'd be great. March. Yeah, I think um, that would be great. You Everybody. To get something out there quicker. Yeah. Do you want me to run it by all of you first? Or? You don't have to run it by me, but I don't know what I'm looking at. But I think Facebook would be a good, good thing. Well, I, I just thought it might yeah. be a bad thing to uh -huh. get out there. Is, okay. is March pushing you? Do you want to go to no, April? March is not pushing us. Right. Um, I would rather get out information sooner than later. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, I think March is more a weather factor than it is uh, a problem with us being able to get the work done. We won't have a work grant recommendation by mid-March. Um, we, I don't think we'll hear about that until well after April, but I would sooner get the information on the drainage district out to folks sooner. Um, just, just because there is so much uh, uh, rumor going around with the project right, right. now, I, I, I'd like to get as much factual information as we can in everybody's hands because I don't think there's a lot of understanding of the process that the board has to follow in the state code. And uh, I, I think we need to get some of that word out there. Um, I would agree with you. I don't know how many people hit your site, but at least it's it's a place where we can get it, and then maybe Karen can put it on the uh, uh, regular web page too. Okay, good, I'll, good idea. I'll work on that. All right, Thanks, thank you, Mark. Thank you. I entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting then. Move it. Eight. Hey.